Okay, this obviously isn't a grapple, but this is the output of a day's work with a grapple. So I thought this was a, a nice serene scene to start the video with. I'll, I'll, I'll close it right here and get to the grapple review, but uh, this was a lot of work and uh, without the grapple it would have been a lot more work. So here is some of that hard work. Um, right here I'm bringing roughly 12 foot sections. This is dead ash. Uh, to a burn pile and, and you saw the fire that uh, that I lit to, to burn off some of this old ash but this gives you an idea of what the, what the grapple can handle. This is the grapple. Up front you have the piston, you have the hoses. I'll give you a better look at those in a second. Uh, Three tines on the front, five on the back. There's only two grease fittings right here. So I want to make sure I mention these are the connections. And I'm sure everybody that's going to get a grapple realizes you have to have a uh, an additional function, right? So the third function uh, to uh, to handle that. And um, this one has this. This came with the third SCV. Right there. There's your connection. So here's the grapple down on the ground. It's curled all the way back, and uh, you can see the tines are flush with the ground, um, the claws open, and that's that's the position you're going to be in when you move into a pile. And you can see it in my videos. That's how I'm going in, and that's the easiest way to pick things up. You push in, then you clamp down, do your curl and lift, and uh, and it works pretty well. Um, obviously, you have to you know, determine what size is right for you and uh, how much you can carry uh, in any one load. A couple key things uh, when you're doing that is when, you're, when you have a grapple, you're going to be carrying long things most likely. That does uh, put a different uh, stress on the tractor in terms of weight. And you have to be careful. Uh, this particular grapple's 360 pounds roughly. I believe that's what the specs say. And when you have logs sticking out there, it, it makes it a little, you know, a little tenuous when you do it. So you just have to be careful. I haven't had any problems, but you do notice, uh, uh, you know, the center of gravity changes, certainly. And also when you're, you're going into debris, um, you're going into brush piles. Some of them are, are, are quite large. They're not all nice and neat. And, and when you do that, you'll see down in here that there's some open spaces and you might get some sticks, you know, protrude through and, and hit your tractor in certain areas and and you want to protect your 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 grill right here and you can see this particular grill guard I have a, a broken piece of wire right there and it's it's dented in and and to me that's fine that's exactly what that's supposed to do it's supposed to protect the the grill of the tractor so just a, a last note is if you're gonna you're gonna use a grapple you're gonna use it in a in a wooded area and or to pick up a lot of debris, um, protect the front of your grill. That's a, that's a deluxe grill guard on that, on the John Deere, but they come in a lot of different forms. And, you know, if I didn't have that, I would stick a piece of wood across it. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't do that long-term, but it would, it would be something to protect the front of that. So here's an example of, of how you set the grapple up. So I have the claw open, I'm setting it down. It'll be flush with the ground when I go in. And, uh, you know, you squeeze and left. And this is the first time going into this pile. There were a couple in here that were better than 12 feet. And I don't remember if it was the second or third one I took out of here. But uh, the, it had to be cut down because it was too wide, not for the tractor, but for the trail. So uh, it was close regardless going down with some of these and you know I, I moved this one this first one out there I was able to grab a couple more this is still a, a fair size dead ash but uh, 
The grapple handles it no problem. You just, you just got to get comfortable using it. Uh, you can see here where, you know, it does change the center of gravity. Uh, that, that's out there quite a ways. But, you know, it it is a, a great implement to have, most certainly. Now, this is a root rake, and, you know, obviously there's different types of uh, grapples, rock rake, uh, debris grapple, et cetera, et cetera, and more specialized grapples, right? Uh, it's amazing how many grapples there are. So this is a pretty standard grapple. It's a root grapple, and one note, and this was interesting when I got it, because I didn't expect this, but it says to avoid machinery damage, use clamp arm for clamping only. Well, this is a root rake, and certainly you uh, rake with the bottom, but there are some times you just want to rake it, and my brother has a grapple on his Kubota, and I'm not sure the make. I thought it was a wicked grapple, but... Uh, Regardless, you can rake with that. Now, whether you should be raking or not, I don't know, but it definitely but it rakes up very nice, so. So here's that grapple. You can see it's smaller, lighter. Uh, the claw goes all the way across. It lends itself very nicely to raking. And uh, obviously the frontier is a root rake. That doesn't mean it's designed to rake the top of the soil, but it is nice to clean up an area and raking is a, is a standard function that that will, you'll enjoy and, and be helpful when you use your grapple. So I'm using this grapple basically to clear brush, but primarily uh, a wooded lot, so it's picking up a lot of logs. And it's been ideal. Frankly, I'm super pleased with it. And uh, again, if that's your usage, you'll be you'll be right on the money. There is only one issue is, and I'll, I'll mention it, uh, another comparison is the John Deere loader is great. And I know we're talking about a grapple here, but that's driving this grapple. And one of the, the issues with the grapple, I would say, is, is not necessarily related with the grapple. It's related with the, the tractor and, um, it's it's being able to curl it right and then and then squeeze it at the same time and it just doesn't work well it's one or the other it's the same thing with the bucket and i that is the one thing that i i would be uh really appreciative uh th th to have that functionality because i notice you know, on other tractors, and I won't name the names, you're, you're able to do that. And and again, I have no issues with this loader. It's it's great. Uh, and I, I'm pleased with everything. It does exactly what it needs to do. But that would be nice it, uh, to be able to control that loader and, and the different functions with without, uh, without a draw. Because when you go to pick something up, you want to lift it and you want to squeeze it. And it's just not happening. And so you have to readjust and, uh, you know, do one or the other. And, and again, just a, just a small item. But uh, other than that, I think you'll like this grapple.